Krishna. Humility means to not let our ego come in the way of our service. Humility is often misunderstood to be a weakening or self denigrating attribute. People think that oh, if I am humble then everybody will walk over me, others will exploit me. But that is a caricature of humility. Actual humility doesn't mean that we let others walk over us, but rather it means that we don't let others push us away from where we want to walk. That means that we don't let our ego come in the way of our purposes, of our principles, of our service. When uh, to understand this, let's consider the opposite of humility, which is say, arrogance. And when a person is arrogant, that person is always seeking respect, seeking praise. And Whenever say that person comes into a room, that person always looking, oh, how many people are respecting me? How many people are? How many heads are turning? How many people are uh, respecting or appreciating or praising me? And when that doesn't happen, person just sometimes the fuse blows off. That means that person becomes so irritated, so angry that person starts going into a revenge fantasy, thinking, oh, these people don't respect me. I'll show you who. I'll show them who I am. I will get them into such trouble that they will never again have the audacity to disrespect me or neglect me. So now, those, uh, this completely sidetracks uh, the person from what was important, what was needed to be done. So when we talk about humility, the point is not, the point is that our action is not dependent on others' actions in terms of whether they offer us respect or not. Yes, if for, a, if for our particular service, a certain level of attention, certain level of uh, respect, is re deference is required, and if we don't uh, get that in a particular place, then we can go to another place. For example, if somebody is a teacher of the Bhagavad Gita, and that person finds that on going to a particular venue, nobody is interested, people are just chit-chatting, gossiping, uh, playing, fooling around during the class, the person may say that, okay, I will not go there in future. It's not because those people are disrespecting me, but that's because uh, my purpose, my service is to share the message of the Gita and if people are not interested, why should I go there? But if that person is arrogant, then person will start thinking, oh, these people, they are so foolish, they are so fallen. I will show them, I will chastise them, I will tell them that they will go to hell because of neglecting Krishna and then that will alienate those people further and that will not serve the purpose at all. So Krishna talks about uh, the 20 qualities that comprise knowledge in 13th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita and therein in 13.8 he begins that list with Amanittum, Amanittum Adambittum So Amanittum is humility and Krishna by stressing it in the negative tone Amanitvam uh, by giving the negative phrasing for it that not expecting aman, not expecting honor, not expecting respect he tells us about this positive side that we are no longer dependent on others humility on others, uh, others response we are focused on our principles and our purposes and when we do that then yes if somebody is trying to exploit, trample or walk over us, we don't allow that. Not because we are egoistic, but because we are focused on our service and uh, on our principles, on our purposes. So humility essentially means not being weak, but being strong. Because we, when we depend on others' responses, then we naturally uh, subject ourselves to uncertainty, insecurity and we make ourselves weak. But when we are focused on our principles and purposes, then we can make choices that are best for our, uh, our parcels as well as for others. And that's how it is. Humility is empowering. Thank you. Hare Krishna.